Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject, we're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end there will be an extended reading where you can dive in deeper. You can watch this for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your sixth house, this could be for you. Thank you, however you spot the channel, very much appreciated. Cross watches you are more than welcome, message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Virgo, what's going on with you guys? Let's do one more. What do we got? We have the Princess of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords, the Spy, the Researcher, the Curiosity. Okay, I feel like the clouds are dispersing here and you're gaining some sort of clarity about something. Could be in the form of communication. I'm just, it, it's like you've been stood on a cloud in this deck. Um, you know, for you guys, it's been, it's been a journey. You know, you've had for 15 years Pluto in your fifth house. It's on the last little aspect of that. So we've got fifth house um, Pluto, all about um, your romance, your creativity, children, pregnancies. Um, the last 14 years, Neptune's been in your seventh house. So there's been a lot of illusions and, you know, very shadow work at play in terms of connecting with others. So this could be a final clarity about something. Um, interesting. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups, card of happiness. You, I feel like whatever this clarity is, it could come in the form of, um, well, it, it, it will. I mean, I, I will look for the Seven of Wands purely because I want to, um, to get Mars in Leo, but Mars in the 12th house is in your spread. 12th house is the hidden aspects. Uh, self undoing, um, Piscean energy. I I feel like you might have recognised something here in terms of maybe um, dealings with children, maybe something to do with um, creative projects and stuff like that. Anything. It, it feels like this last little swing of clarity as to what has been an illusion, what has been shadow, what is real, what isn't. So we've got the Princess of Swords. What we're aware of is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups in this deck is a card of luxury, um, but it can be moodiness. It's a moon in Cancer. Um, it's emotional roller coaster, ups and downs, that type of thing. Now, what we're not aware of is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is when we break through this cloud uh, and the rain happens, we get the rainbow. And this is the heart chakra. It's something here that's going to propel you forward. We're also in Mercury and Sagittarius. Mercury and Sagittarius is going to be retrograde as well. We're also, we're already in its shadow. So we've got that shadow of the cloud with the shadow aspect of Mercury retrograde. It could be bringing some things from the past back to either see clearly or let go or, you know, expand, whatever it is. In the recent past, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is, well, the Princess of Discs, the Princess of Discs is planting seeds, taking something tangible. Your advice is Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is Mars in Pisces or Mars in the 12th house. Mars is in Leo, guess where it is? And for you guys, Leo rules your 12th house. There's something here that there's this fire energy, this Mars energy that's rippling through your, your 12th house, highlighting mental health issues, highlighting self-sabotaging behaviours, increasing psychic perception. 
um, psychic awareness. It is showing you clearly where it could be hidden enemies for some of you, I hope not. But there's something here that's just gonna free you. Because ultimately to get this, nine of cups, we kind of have to go backwards from the 10. If we look at it astrologically, the nine of cups is Jupiter in Pisces, the wheel of fortune trying to spin, and then it hits the hangman, Pisces. It's like delayed wish fulfillment. And what we need to get there is to get that hangman off his, uh, off his uh, ledge. And we need Mars for that. We need this kind of surge of energy. Your outcome is the princess of cups, the page of cups. Now, so we've got three pages here. The only missing page is the page of wands, which is that the message. The, it's, it's, it's that passion. It's finding that, um, that fire within you. I kind of feel like there's a, if this was a, a, an oracle deck, this would be the crystal mandala. It would be peer to sight, which is Angel Raziel, and it's storm wisdom. So whatever this Mars aspect in your 12th house is going to bring you wisdom. So this could be a sweeping cleanse through your life. Do not hold on to anything tight right now. You know, it, we've got these, the, the, three, the three pages here. This is pulling up your big boy or your big girl pants and be ready to be flown forward with the eight of wands. This is fast moving. This is insight. This is clarity. And then you get to know where you're going from there. So you might be getting guided here. You know, the Princess of Swords is, is the researcher, it's the, um, it's the curiosity. So you might be being pushed into a direction here where you're... It feels like something's trying to get your attention. We've got all these pages um, trying to get, you know, three pages. This could be trying to get your attention to something. Sometimes when I want an answer, I'll go to the local bookshop, I'll pick up a spiritual book and turn to a page. I think they give that as an example as to what to do in the book, The Secret. Do that, but do look at three pages. There might be some sort of insights there for you. I think you've been shown here. You're being helped to take control of your personal power because that's the only thing that you can control. And I get the emphasis here that if you're trying to control any other aspect of your life, you, all you're doing there is inviting the universe to humble you by showing you clearly where you can't. How interesting. Let's look for the tower and the hangman. Hangman is with the four of wands and the three of pentacles. Okay, so there could be shown here... Um, some sort of maybe illusions attached to an emperor empress energy this could be the fourth house of the home 11 11 three of pentacles is mars in capricorn the tower hits the devil so there could be a lot of toxic things that are coming up for uh, recognition tower is with the is is with power which is the four of pentacles and the emperor yeah i i i think i think there's a sudden realization to be had here in what sense? I don't know. It could be something that has preoccupied your mind, your mind for quite some time. Uh, and it's going to bring you some sort of freedom. What else do I want to see? Oh, Page of Wands. Oh, the Seven of Wands as well. Mars in, Mars in Leo is with the Ace of Dis and Justice. This Mars in the Twelfth House is going to give you clarity, an opportunity to recognise something here. This could be recognising the South Node in, in Libra. You know, South Node in Libra is, is about karmic patterns. It's about if people come into your life during that time, it doesn't mean to say that they're only there for that period. But a good proportion will be for a purpose of a lesson. Devils with the Eight of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, this has kept you stuck in your head about something. There's a page of wands. It's wedged between the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. 
So whatever it is, is going to allow you to make a decision to move on, move away from something. Uh, I, I believe you're getting some sort of major clarity here. I believe you're getting some sort of... Um, I think you've been guided to specific spiritual guidance as well. So pay attention to anything signs-wise coming along your way, you know, regular pop-ups on your YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is that you're on. Um, you've been led somewhere, okay? Interesting. Let me just quickly look up peer to sight just to see if there's anything. Crystal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Powerful protection against the, the elements. It calms nervous people and animals during storms. Um, it aids mental clarity. I, you, you've been getting, you've been gifted mental clarity here, which like I say, is, is so much needed in this last sort of minutes of Pluto in your fifth house, romance, creativity, children, Neptune in your seventh house, doing its little retrograde. It's, 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 it's been a very confusing time for you guys in terms of relationships. It doesn't have to be just relationships, it's contracts of all kinds, that seventh house aspect. But yeah, whatever this is, trust it. It's gonna make your life move very, very quickly afterwards. So uh, yeah, all the best with that. In your extended, let's take whatever this clarity is. It's something that's gonna shine because the sun is, um, is breaking through the clouds and what it brings is this wish fulfillment. For some of you though, you might not like the answer, two of swords, 10 of swords. But what it's gonna do is then free you for that next stage of your life to make decisions based on clarity rather than confusion. Fantastic. Okay, we'll take the energy, we'll build around it. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. We have Moon in Cancer, we have Mercury in Sagittarius, we have Mars in Pisces, we have Jupiter in Pisces, Leo, Moon in Libra, Sun in Gemini, Moon in Sagittarius, Venus in Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces. We have discs, we have swords, we have cups, we have wands. Everyone's here. Those who stand out, so let me know. Take care. See you soon. Bye.